Since the airship assassin has been dethroned as the rarest skin in the game. Boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. What are the new rare skins, you may ask? What's good, Woz Nation? It's Woz, and I'm going to show you guys the top five rare skins in Apex Legends. Now, this is all opinion based, so I would love to get you guys' opinions down in the comment section below on which skin you think is the rarest. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell and turn on all notifications so you can never miss an upload from me. Coming in at number five is Caustic Trophy Hunter. This all white skin makes even the gassiest man look smetsy. Now this skin came out around April of last year, season one, pretty much the early days of Apex Legends. And I gotta say, I haven't seen the end game at all. This season, last season, the season before that, you, you get the picture what I'm saying, right? Now, if you see anybody running around in Apex Legends with this skin, they are an OG, and if you're lucky to have this skin, I am so jealous of you right now. I cannot lie. This skin is beautiful. It's amazing. The the white on it, the oh my god, it's just everything about this skin screams quality, rarity, and OG status day one caustic main. And will this skin make a return? Most likely, 100% is definitely going to make a turn, return most likely, but I do got to say, I do not see many of these out. Coming in at number four is Bada Gold. We all know skins cost a fortune in Apex Legends, but there's only one skin that screams money, and it's this one. This skin came out around May of last year, pretty much around season one time frame. And I gotta say, it's one of my favorite Pathfinder skins. And honestly, I'm lucky to have it, but I haven't seen many people use it in game. And that is very, very, very odd to me being that since pathfinder and wraith were very very much used at the time and everybody was running with one the fact to not see this skin anymore is very crazy and maybe a lot of people just stopped playing the game or who knows but if you see bottle of gold running around in olympus or world's edge you are lucky and if you have the skin you're even more lucky and will this skin make a return of course of course this skin will make a return all these skins make a return for the most part uh it's just a matter of time when we'll see it coming in at number three is wraith protector of the void this skin came out during the iron crown event which was august of last year basically like season two uh this is one of my favorite wraith skins i love the blood marks across her face and the beige and gold mesh really really well it just looks amazing and nice i don't see anyone using this skin at all like at all and maybe because it was very limited when it came around with the Iron Crown event, a lot of people was playing solos, a lot of people, it was very expensive. So maybe I understand why a lot of people don't have it. I am lucky to have the skin as well. And do I see them re-releasing the skin in the future? Maybe, maybe not. It's not sure because I'm not going to lie, the word in between event limited and event exclusive is all very, very confusing. But they did bring back Legendary Hunt. And so who knows, Apex might change their mind. I mean, Respawn might change their mind and re-release this skin. So hopefully they do so a lot of people can get their hands on it. But the likely of this one particular coming back, maybe not. Coming in at number two is Bloodhound Great Winter. This skin came out along with Airship Assassin, which was recently released. So this is like season zero of Apex. Like a lot of people didn't have crafting. A lot of people didn't have, didn't want to spend money on the game. So it makes a lot. And plus Bloodhound was not top tier at the time. So it makes a lot of sense why a lot of people don't have it. I have seen it once recently when I play playing on PC. I've seen it once. But it makes a lot of sense that you don't see it that often because a lot of people was not playing Bloodhound. I mean, like, this is one of the rarest Bloodhound skins ever. And with Bloodhound's fan base being the way it is now, I do see them possibly re-releasing this skin. You know, because all skins do come around for the most part, depending on how Respawn feels. And this one, I feel like now since Bloodhound is top tier, they're going to bring this skin back. Uh, don't quote me on that because I could be wrong, but they're just... It's a high chance. I mean, they did bring Airship Assassin back. Coming in at number one. I, I, what do you think it is? It's Mirage Center Stage. There was once a time when Mirage was at the bottom of the food chain. This skin came out April of last year, like season one, right along with Octane's Red Shift. The white and red color scheme just fits Mirage so well. I am lucky to have this skin, but I haven't seen anyone in game with it at all. 
and you know when i used to load up as mirage a lot of people was like oh my god wow when did they release that skin i got bro i don't even remember i gotta go look it up like it was that long ago we'll respawn re-release this skin most likely when we don't know honestly but this skin has got to be one of mirage's rarest skins along with i think it's called the dark artist now if you're lucky to have the skin you're lucky if you've seen it in the game you're lucky and hopefully they re-release it so you guys can get your hands on it there you have it the top five rare skins in apex legends season seven if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below while you're down there let me know which skin you think is the rarest in the game thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one